get ready. Kent State, Miami, coming up next. Kokel, three wide receivers right side, throws across the middle. Sean McVay brings it in. Miami, first down, they have it at the 21 yard line. Sean McVay making the catch for Miami. And McVay, that name has a little bit of Miami history to it. In motion, Edelman. Wrapped up by Bostic, but not wrapped up tightly enough. Gets loose, throws to Sitko, knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. And boy, there is Julian Edelman doing it again, Jim Hoffer. He is so dangerous. And, and you know, you say, how many times you're going to see it? How many guys is he going to shake free? He is obviously a really strong body. And then last week, Corey Jones came in. Corey, a fifth-year senior, had barely even played until this year. In fact, it's the first time he played as Miami gets a first down. Pass complete. Sean McVay bringing that one in for Greg Mike Coco. Edelman had some time. Now bounces free again and picks up another oh, yeah. nice chunk of yards. Earlier this season, Edelman had a 135-yard rushing performance against Kentucky, which was a career high for him. He averaged 2.9, scored three touchdowns this year, getting more of an opportunity and taking advantage of it. On first down, Coco goes out to Sean McVay. Great job by Jamison Cons on the tackle. He beats the block out of the block of the receiver out in the perimeter and stays on his feet. He really did a great job stringing this thing out. Get a zone blitz from the field. Edelman to Jarvis. Just good recognition by Edelman. He can see that the zone blitz was coming to the field, and he went to where one of the voids are in the zones underneath. From the 18-yard line, after the sack by Kennedy. Edelman. Kent needs a touchdown on this play. Edelman wanted to throw, tucks it away. Inside the five, Julian Edelman loses the football out of bounds. He is short of the goal line. And the ball is spotted at the one yard line. Edelman got close. Boy, a lot closer than it looked like he was ever going to get, Jim. He's an unbelievable player in open field, but again, you go back to Miami. They kept it in front of them, and I don't have any doubt that Edelman was probably hoping, geez, if this ball goes forward, somebody has a chance perhaps to recover it, but that would not have been the case, I don't believe. He would have had to recover it himself. Kent State's winning streak against Miami ends at one. 